first off, can I ask? I mean, one of the I was talking to Fionn and Lola, and they were saying that in in the initial sense, the idea of the trans community didn't actually come into the sort of story. It was more just about the idea of identity. Um, is that true? I mean, when you were writing it, was that what you were going for? No, they're lying. No, I don't. <laughs> they're lying bastards. They're liars. No, it is. No, it's completely true. In fact, like. It's sometimes surprising to me when I see that people are like, oh, this film is a metaphor for gender identity. Yeah. I'm like, excuse me, it's not. Like, I'll tell you, it's not. <laughs> um, because it really isn't. I mean, in fact, when I was, when when I did write, when I came across Species Dysphoria the first time, I'd actually been working on a project with a documentary, which I can't sort of like for sure. privacy reasons go too much into, but which was actually related to someone who had like issues, completely like a very conflicted relationship with his skin, which was changing. Um, and that's that was actually much more in my mind, the sense of someone who had been born in a certain skin and then ended up in a different one. And are we defined by who yeah. we are or by what we desire? And and it was really those like broader questions of identity, which were very sort of, I've been reading um, The Human Stain by Philip Roth, which is an absolute yeah. masterpiece. And I think those were just many questions in my mind. And then I, you know, heard this story about this woman who believed that she was a cat. And I think perhaps like in a normal, you know, and if I hadn't been so open to those thoughts, I would have just like, you know, watched it with some interest. Yeah, yeah. But actually, I thought, you know, there's there's something really interesting here. I didn't know this was a condition, you know, and, and how do these people, and how do people who have, have this, like, respond to it? And are there different variations of it, which there are, because there's people who really, really feel that they are an animal, and there's people who are using this animal as, like, a, a comfort, you know, yeah. as a refuge. And, um, and I just thought, you know, I want to jump away from reality and kind of exploring this in the real world, because it's a position I don't feel like I need to take or should take but use it as a as a space to explore all different sort of forms of identity and how we live with our skin and not and mm. our needs and the world that we live in that maybe pushes us to look for a different identity yeah. and yeah the interesting thing about the kind of relationship between um George and Lily Rose was that it's you can see both you've, you've mentioned the whole thing about identity the idea of people not being comfortable in their skin but finding comfort in the other person i am i'm wondering i mean did you ever consider some other variation of that relationship during the writing phase and then as you were directing it because i know there was a lot of improv at the start of it was there any kind of any other considerations you gave to it you know no because i that on that relationship i always knew i wanted it to be and because I wrote the script sort of the first treatment in like eight hours and it was like yeah. a, and it's in the end it's sort of the broad brush jokes are quite similar although like of course m many many changes but I did know I wanted it to be an impossible love story and I did know that those two characters in the end for me like were always parallel lines like in fact I don't really see it as a love story you know I, I see it as um I see it as like two very very lonely individuals that found rather maybe like projected their own desires, which we all do in love. So maybe mm, that is a love course, story yeah. actually. <laughs> our needs, our desires yeah, onto yeah. someone else. And I think George took it really, really badly the first time that he was like, but I love her. I was like, no, it's like, she's a mirror. And he was like, yeah. no, that's not. You're projecting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I think that's it. You know, they're so desperately lonely and they sort of see in each other what they're lacking. And, but actually there's no way for them to ever, because I mean, he is, you know, truly someone who feels that he's a wolf and she's, you know, a very damaged and, and, and broken girl who's found refuge in the idea of being a wild cat because there's nothing wild about her. So mm. in a sense, they couldn't be more, you know, sometimes we would joke with George that he'd be a better match with Panda perhaps, you know, yeah. <laughs> than, than wild cat. Um, but uh, don't tell wild cat. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh. But um, but yes, yeah, so 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 no. So for me, that was it was it was always going to end up with a separation. Cool. Um, if you had to program another film alongside this, say at a film festival okay. like we are now, yeah. what film would you suggest alongside it? Do you think? Oh, that's a really interesting question. I wonder actually, because I wonder if I'd go for. A fi like films that have inspired me, or, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, no, um, but then maybe not because I wouldn't want to like compare it to that. Like, they're so much better. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe like maybe it's something like Border. Okay. Do you know the Swedish film? No, a, but tell me about it. Well, it's it's a it's a troll troll love story. Two trolls, but you don't know that they're trolls. But it's great. It's great. It's really it has like the most interesting sex scene. Like, don't go on a first date to watch it. Sure. Have you seen? It? Have you seen it? it? <laughs> yeah, the you want the thing. 
Oh, it's really good. I think that it's really good. It's like it's sort of it's between a fa- fairy tale and it's yeah. So that you know, I I think actually that would be a nice like programming or or even you know, Dogtooth, just because it's a yeah, it's a brilliant film. Um, so you know what? Why not? But I don't know. Maybe I'd want to program it. Not something as good as Dog Tooth. Uh, no, that yeah, maybe. That's maybe. yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, Natalie, thanks so much. Thank you so much. I'm running. I'm running. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Do you want things to get worse for you? I have no human form. 